either Joe Biden is the most clever person in the world and did nothing wrong, or he's the dumbest, did something wrong, and bragged about it in 2018. Take a listen here. I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid. Now, as the investigation by David Weiss goes deeper into the Hunter Biden business dealings overseas, is that going to possibly get him in trouble? <laughs> well, it remains to be seen if David Weiss's investigation is going deeper <laughs> on anything because he seems to not want to investigate or prosecute anyone uh, named Biden. And we'll see if that changes. I'm skeptical. I think it's important to remember that not only did Joe Biden want that prosecutor who Brian has on, and we were talking about this in the break, Brian Kilmeade, big get for him coming up in the next hour, this Shokin interview. It is wild that no one has talked to this man, given his significance on this issue. We've known about it for years at this point. But it wasn't just Joe Biden who successfully used U.S. foreign policy levers to get this man fired and wanted this man fired. The people paying Joe Biden's son, Hunter, a million dollars a year for no apparent reason, they wanted this man fired and they got their wish, knowing that they were employing the son of the big guy who then swooped in and got the deal done. Whether that is evidence, lock solid, you know, rock solid evidence or lockdown evidence of bribery, we're not quite there in that final link. But there is this document that the FBI had and buried for a while where one of their confidential trusted informants says that's exactly what happened. That's the allegation. And some of the other claims from that document have been corroborated by the FBI and others. So this is absolutely legitimate and an active question. And frankly, everyone in the media should be following it and, tra and chasing it down. And of course, that's not the case in, in most cases, I would say. It's a great point. And we're just now learning these things. And, and Molly, so uh, Shokin himself says, I don't have the exact hard facts, but I believe in my experience that there was a bribe. And he talks about believing that he knows he was fired because of investigating his investigation into Burisma. Listen, here's a little more of Brian's interview. I have said repeatedly in my previous interviews that Poroshenko fired me at the insistence of the then Vice President Biden because I was investigating Burisma. Because he understood, and so did Vice President Biden, that had I continued to oversee the Burisma investigation, we would have found the facts about the corrupt activities that they were engaging in that included both Hunter Biden and Devin Archer and others. Molly, what do you make of this? Well, it's just a stunning development here. Not stunning for many people who, who lived through the first impeachment of President Trump, maybe, but to just revisit these issues. Burisma paid people close to the Biden family, including Hunter Biden, at least a few million dollars. There are allegations that it was more than that. There is written evidence that Burisma wanted this man fired. There is a videotape that you just showed of Joe Biden bragging about getting this man fired. And we have all these people in corporate media saying, gosh, do you think there's something to this? Like, it's all out there. It's all, I mean, <laughs> guns are smoking yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And yet, you know, we had to live through years of this Russia collusion hoax where people were like, there's no evidence supporting anything we're about to say, but we're going to weave yeah. this elaborate theory. And I just want to say one thing. When that first impeachment happened, Joe Biden and his allies came out and said, no, 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 no. We didn't fire him because he was looking into Burisma, even though he was looking into Burisma. We fired him because he wasn't looking into them enough. And everyone in the media said, <laughs> that checks out. That sounds go. good. Let's go into this That's first right. impeachment. And, and I mean, how, what do you do about it? You've already lived through that. It affected elections. It affected many things about the civic health of our country. And now we have all this explosive stuff and, you know, who knows and, and now we have, as we mentioned in the intro, the mugshot seen around the world and President Biden uh, making the handsome guy crack. I'm not sure that really does anybody any good. Uh, we have a short montage I want to play, though, and that is the media gushing about the mugshot. Watch here. Or not. I tell you what. Let me just. Yeah, he looked like he'd been beat up. That was great. <laughs> well, well, it's, it's I'm fine. I, don't know. It's, I mean, yeah. I'll as you say, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, three people have lost their lives over the last month. That jail 
is where the disgraced ex-president of these United States is heading right now. His weight is listed... 175. <laughs> 215. 6'3", people pointed out as the exact dimensions of Lamar Jackson, the quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens. If the, I don't know if the control room has a, has a Lamar Jackson. I mean, the, so the, the resemblance is uncanny. And if that's what you're trying to say, I think. It's a pod. It's a pod. I feel like an hour and 20 minutes ago, I said the whole thing is a sham. <laughs> Katie? Everything these people say about how they care about democracy, the rule of law, equal treatment is, is fundamentally not true. I mean, we have an election coming up. They could allow the people to decide the election. Instead, they are laughing about throwing President Joe Biden's number one political opponent behind bars. Uh, and they think that this is funny and not necessarily a bad moment historically for the country, whether it's a Republican or a Democrat. But real quickly on the Shokin thing, um, he's simply bolstering yeah. what... We know already, it was glaringly obvious, which is Joe Biden was Hunter Biden's business partner. I know everyone wants to try and deny that, but there is email traffic, there's FBI traffic, there's money traffic, and then the last thing is that Hunter Biden was making all this money on art, which the State Department says is a perfect way to launder, launder money, money in their own policies. So we can say it's not obvious, but it is. We'll see if it's obvious to David Weiss. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.